Hey everyone, this is a tutorial that will cover, cover the Loft NURBS modeling tool in Cinema 4D. So in this palette right here, we have all of our NURBS modeling menus. Right now we're gonna cover Loft, and uh, Loft is um, a tool that can use uh, multiple different splines to create a uh, form. So for example, if we go to the spline menu, we could either draw a spline or we could use any of these prefab splines. I'm gonna choose a circle to start and I'm gonna orient it along the X, Z axis and scale it down to about 50. Then I'm gonna add in another spline, this time a rectangle, and again, orient it along the X, Z, and I'm gonna change the proportions. The width here will be, uh, 70 and the height will be let's say oh i don't know 20 maybe a little bit bigger on the width how about 125 okay so i have these two splines and what ultimately i'm going to do is take the the distance between them to extrude out a form or loft out a form if you will uh, that will <clears throat> go from one uh, spline to the next. So if I bring both of these into the loft, you will see that there is an object that's created with caps and uh, those parameters. If we look at the, um, the lines, uh, we can see <clears throat> all of these forms that are created, right? So if we, under the loft, if we increase the U subdivisions, those are the horizontal ones, and the V subdivisions are the vertical ones to get a more accurate form. Um, <clears throat> excuse my throat clearing. If we um, put another one of these in, so if it, for example, if I copy and paste another circle and I bring this into here, I can actually have um, this down here, the hierarchy matters a little bit here. So if I move one to the next, you can see, let's just look at the difference between these two, okay? So here we have the, um, the loft is going from this bottom circle all the way up to this top rectangle and then the other circle in between. If I change the parameters between these, if I change the orientation, you get a little bit different, right? So in this case, we don't have that shoulder that was there, if I put them below, can see it here, right? So there's a difference between those two. One is higher, one is lower. So when you introduce those splines, consider how that might function as you go into it. Uh, the great thing about this though is you can edit at any time, right? So I can scale this accordingly uh, in any direction um, and I can move it as well and that will change how this loft menu works. And of course, like with any uh, of these modeling tools that have caps, we can change the caps as well. So if we go to caps, uh, this is the, um, the start and end cap are together. If we want to separate them, we can separate them. Let's see which one this is the start. So this top one is the start and I can add a little bit of a bevel to that, which will help give it a nice sense of depth and dimension. And the same for the bottom. I can add a cap to that as well. If I go down to the end cap, I can maybe step and increase that so I could have um, maybe less segments, maybe two segments and a little bit of depth to give it that sort of formation, right? So there we go, this like, I don't know, uh, shampoo container, right? So then anyway, that's loft. You use multiple different splines, you can, um, Definitely draw your own. If you do draw your own, remember to close the spline, that's important, and uh, experiment with those different parameters as you go. So that's the loft um, tool.